this is Angela at African Roots TV. Today I'm very excited to share with you some information about a publication that a fellow researcher shared with me. Now, like you, I watch the TV programs as they come on. I've been watching Who Do You Think You Are? I've been watching the Gates programs. I watch Generations TV and I read anything that I can get my hands on in terms of genealogy publications. I look forward to Family Tree Magazine, Internet Genealogy, Family Chronicle, and, and more, whatever I can find. Well, someone shared with me a publication that their genealogical society produces and I was so impressed, I asked them, please, may I have a hard copy so I can share with you. I was so impressed. The publication actually comes out of South Carolina, and it's the Old Edgefield District African American Genealogical Society. Now, these are people who share, obviously, ancestral ties to that history and to that region, but they have a beautiful publication that I want to talk about. You know, you hear me a lot of times when I talk about a book or I talk about uh, the actions that someone has done and I tell you that this could be a model for you to follow. Well, this is another one of those cases. The publication is called Home Place. This is a copy of it here. However, I want you to come and take a closer look with me and let's see what this publication has to offer. The most recent issue contains some very interesting articles about DNA and about a community of genealogists who have known each other and who just found out through DNA testing that they are related. Home Place is a journal that is published quarterly by the Old Edgefield District African American Genealogical Society. The lead story itself, a previous issue, illustrates the work that a group of researchers can do whether or not they live in the community in which they share ties. It is clear to the reader from that first article that many who have ties from the old Edgefield District live in the greater Washington DC area. They meet, discuss history, and share their resources with each other. Going through the pages, one can see a number of articles written by the members. Some are new articles reflecting current research. Other articles are written as follow-up pieces to those written in earlier editions. A particular fascination for me was the chance to read the biographies. Many of the members have taken data that they have found and turned the data into biographies of their ancestors. Did these ancestors have lengthy obituaries when they died? Possibly not, but here are descendants honoring their ancestors by telling the life stories of these men and women who preceded them. Some articles reflect pedigree charts of known ancestors. On other pages, members share documents such as this Friedman's savings record. A special pleasure comes from reading the research stories that members share. Some issues contain interviews with persons of interest such as well-known archivists. In addition to interviews, some members write articles sharing information on documents that they have found, such as a 19th century rare will made by an African American woman. And there are articles that others have written providing advice on how to use record sets, such as Record Group 105, 
known as the Freedmen's Bureau records. In this case, the records discussed are labor contracts. Older issues of home plays reflect a true sense of dedication and devotion to the documentation of history from the old Edgefield District of South Carolina. And in the current issue of Home Place, a rare photo was shared. Have you ever heard of the slave ship, the wanderer, the racing schooner that smuggled slaves in decades after importing slaves from Africa was banned? Well, the current issue has an amazing photo of three of the survivors of the slave ship the Wanderer. Conversations with descendants of people from that area indicates that both whites and blacks from that community share a passion for the preservation of all of the history and that the African American genealogical group has a very strong association with the older group from the same vicinity. Home Place, a very good publication reflecting strong researchers with a stronger passion for history. You can obtain copies of Home Place by joining the Old Edgefield District African American Genealogical Society. Well, as you can see, that is a very well put together publication. Aren't you impressed? I'm very impressed. And as I said, this is the type of thing that you want to read about. You want to read what others are doing. You want to follow others on their research journey. I just love the piece about, you know, sort of trying to find something to fill in that gap with the missing 1890 census and just reading what some other people have done as they're encountering their own brick walls. This is the kind of publication that I hope others will start to produce as well. Let's take a tip from the folks in the Old Edgefield District. They have a lot to be proud of and I'm very, very impressed and it's just been an honor to share it with you. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll Talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.